Hello folks and welcome to a very short demo of System Shock, the new updated um, Unity Engine remake that they're attempting to do. Uh, this is over on uh, Kickstarter right now. It's probably, uh, by the time this video goes up, it will pretty much definitely be funded uh, because as of the moment it's either already funded right now, as I'm recording this, or it's very, very close to being funded. So I have no doubt at all that by the time this video actually goes up, uh, which will be, you know, a couple days later from when I'm recording it, uh, it'll be almost a week later, actually. Um, yeah, it'll be almost a week later. Um, it'll be finished by then. But I will provide a link in the Kickstarter, so if you folks want to check it out. And... This is available, the demo is available on uh, GOG, Good Old Games, um, so you can go check it out there. Uh, I have already played through part of this, I missed a few rooms, I haven't explored everything. It's a relatively short demo, but I want to share it with you guys so you can all see what it is. And it looks really cool, uh, I really like... I have not played the original System Shock, the game that this is based, you know, obviously a remake of. I played System Shock 2. And of course the newer Bioshock games are um, some of the same people who made the originals and is essentially, um, you know, a quote-unquote, uh, you know, spiritual successors to the System Shock games. But Night Dive Studios, as you can see down there in the corner, the bottom left, is the company that has acquired the System Shock franchise, uh, the IP and whatnot. And they have re-released, um, you know, kind of updated versions of both the original System Shock and System Shock 2 to be able to run with the new windows and whatnot. And, you know, some minor updates, you know, better resolutions type support and such things. Uh, but... This is an actual full remake of the original one, and from what I can see, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Again, I have played through this already. Um, All right, so stasis complete. Subject, whatever the hell. Uh, neural implant surgery. Cryogenic healing time six months. So we have been in the cryogenic stasis uh, to heal from a neural implant. Nor exactly that means. I'm not sure. Uh, we've been healing for six months. Uh, please proceed to reception to collect your personal belongings and check out. Yeah. So we are in neurosurgery. Uh, you see, if you if you stand and look at something long enough, it doesn't always do it, but sometimes um, it'll pop up and show you like what you're looking at if it's something mildly important. Uh, see the healing incubator. Uh, it doesn't always work, even on things that it will technically work with. It doesn't always actually trigger. It seems to be, you know, questionable. <laughs> Uh, this is, of course, a very early alpha, or pre-alpha version of the game, you know, just a demo version, so, you know, you gotta give them a, uh, you gotta give them a huge grain of salt, essentially, because uh, there's only so much you can do with such an early version of the game. Alright, so we have a pipe, so we, can, we have a weapon, we've got an access card, we've got... Uh, media reader, which lets us play uh, emails and stuff. Hello. Hello. Finally got someone. Hello. Hello. Alright, my name is Rebecca Latsu. I'm a counter-terrorism consult for Triumph. First things first, get something to defend yourself with. Uh -huh. You're gonna need it. Already done that. Things on Citadel Station are bad. Very bad. Sure. The cons are dead and there is strong evidence of a biological contamination on board. Oh good. That's Get there immediately. See what you can find. 
<clears throat> oh, good. Uh, no, we are in orbit around, I believe it's Jupiter. Or, no, there's rain, so Saturn, I guess. Uh, and they're going to use the mining laser to attack Earth. Okay. That's a hell of a distance to be shooting anything. I don't care what you're shooting. Alright, so we got a system analyzer. Mark 1. Monitors the biometrics of the user. Why precisely we care, I don't know. Uh, but it does give us an additional thing up at the top left. And then we've got a navigation and mapping unit, which we really don't need. Because the demo is very short, but lets you see everything as far as that goes. This is what that uh, access card that we picked up does. Opens that door. Hi, buddy. This robot does want to kill us. He has done a poor job of it. So we got a soda off of him. I can use this to heal myself. I am hurt a little bit, but not enough. I'm not going to use it right now. Um, let me make the, what's up, one thing very clear. This game will definitely be rated mature. Just saying. Wait, look at that. Definitely mature. And look at this. Body parts. There's a torso. There, there's there's leg, leg, arm, random bone, uh, head, another arm, ra more random bones. Somebody got very, very dismembered and just like ripped limb from limb and chewed the fuck up. Yeah, fun times. And then you got this dude. He looks like he's a zombified... half-decayed corpse. So that's fun. <coughs> and this dude, who's very fucked up. I do have a little bit of a cold, so when I'm coughing and sniffling and doing any such things, that's the reason for that. Uh, I got sick on the 4th of July. And this is being recorded very shortly after that. Uh, oh good, another... Another soda and a human arm. Fun times. Fun times. Alright, so we have another chest with grenades. Yay! Grenades. I don't know if I want to know. There's a power thing. Uh, restores our power. Uh, which, that I've seen so far, is usable for only one thing in the demo, at least. Uh, and that is a energy weapon that we get in a little bit. Oh, empty, ruined things that we don't have any use for. Hi, camera. How you doing? I'ma break you now. Oh, I broke the... Oh, that's... I didn't actually realize I could do that. I'ma break the camera, though, because I don't want it looking at me. Do I have a particular reason to break it? Not really. But I didn't realize I could break the lights. Interesting. If I break all of these lights, does it get really dark? Because it almost seems like there's like more light than there should be just from these light sources. Right, that doesn't look like it could be broke. You probably are hearing something. It look, sounds very unpleasant on the other side of this door. Real, uh, real helpful there. Four, five, one. Nope. Totally hit the wrong button. There we go. Hi, buddy! Oh, aren't you a fun-looking beastie? Ow. Kinda hurt. Oh man, you had a lot of shit on you. Oh no, that was my stuff. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Berserk booster. Wait, what? Temporarily increases upper body strength. Alright then. Sure. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your song of the healing stage went well. Ow. Bitch. I won't. I won't have a pleasant stay. I guarantee I won't have a pleasant stay. I'm already having a terrible stay. Being attacked by robots and mutant zombie people and 
all sorts of good things. So that is a key card. This opens a door that I haven't gone through yet when I was playing before. Look at another camera. You're looking at me. Fuck you, camera. Fuck you. But I'll let you look at me. Because I know who's on the other side of that. I know. There's another one, of course. I don't think I can reach that one. Pretty sure you are beyond my ability to reach. Yeah, you're d definitely beyond my ability to reach. Anyway, so the one that we just picked up, I believe, opens this. I haven't been in here. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is all... What the hell is all this? Okay. Sure. Empty package of medicine. Oh, good. So, useless. Oh, good heads! Always, always good to see. A grenade. Why the fuck not? Just, you know, store grenades randomly in, a, in, in storage. Oh, oh, legs. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. So we got human heads, a couple legs, some random shit, and a grenade! Why the fuck not? Alright, so that was pretty much as I expected. There wasn't much of anything in there. That is a healing item, which we may need. Uh, I honestly have no idea what the hell precisely I'm doing here, but so uh, don't. Uh... There we go. I succeeded. I succeeded. I don't know what I did, but I succeeded. That was really loud. Jesus. That is remarkably loud. Should probably turn the master volume down a little bit. Just saying. Oh, by the way, this is the, uh, the crap, the windows. Uh,. Yeah. You know, funny thing is, it's not borderless, but at least on the menu, I couldn't alt tab out. Like, it would alt tab completely out of the game uh, on the uh, the loading menu screen that we started on. Field of view slider, slider. So that's good. Only goes up to ninety, but that's fine. Of course, resolution. Uh. Yeah. Sure. It's running fairly well. I mean, it has pretty crap graphics, so I mean, that's not really saying much, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever works. Switch. Oh. Sure. Another healing item, and a gun! First gun! Yay! We have gun, spark beam, sidearm. Has a bunch of different settings. Uh, yeah. So, you can see the settings here, uh, on the right, I can't mouse over, it won't let me. Uh, damage per blast, different settings, um, how much energy it uses per shot, which is, uh, you know, taking from this bar up here, and the type of damage it is, armor penetration, crit chance, critical multiplier, blah blah blah, all the stats of the weapon. Uh, I believe it is default set to the overcharge, I think. Pretty sure it was defaulted to the overcharge, which I think we're going to leave it on because it doesn't really seem to do a whole hell of a lot of damage in the first place, so it's very dark in here. Very, very dark. Well, I get, like, some weird, like, loading problems every so often with this. Bye-bye. Right in your face! Yeah, you did like that, did you? You can see, I used, you know, a fair number of shots there, and I'm only down to 88 power. So, I mean, eh, you yeah, know, using some, but it's not that bad. This is a door I haven't... I don't know if I can open this or not. I haven't been able to open it yet, but I haven't also... There's a couple areas that I haven't explored. Uh, you can go back here. I don't believe there was much of anything back here, though. I think there was this guy uh, who happened to have this on him, but nothing really to speak of. And I don't think there's anything else back here. No. Uh, I haven't gone up this ladder, uh, so we can do that. 
We can do that. You have nothing of interest. So I have no idea what's up this ladder. Could be anything. Could be monsters, could be a key to open that one door, or a switch or something. Could be health packs. Alright. Uh, okay, so there's basically nothing up here. Alright then. Oh. Uh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Nothing up here. Falling off this would probably hurt. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to go down. Go down. Can I jump off the ladder? I can jump off the ladder. Oh, good. Because climbing the ladder takes a too long. So, if I turn the lights off, that doesn't do anything. <coughs> Just trying to. <coughs> Excuse me. That's uh, why I'm sick, as I said earlier. Uh, I'm not like hugely sick, but I am uh, having some issues. Yeah, okay. So I have no idea how one gets into the store. If one can even get into the store. Don't think that's in the demo. And if it is, well, I don't have the vaguest idea of how to do it. Hi, buddy. I see you down there. I'm not gonna go down there. I'm not gonna go down and fuck with you uh, when you would have the drop on me. Very easy drop on me. Let's go ahead and use one of those because we have been hurt a little bit. Not substantially, but you know, a little. You know, I actually think it doesn't really matter at this point, but feels slightly damp, you could yeah, so, nothing, whole lot of nothing, hmm. I really want to know, I wonder if there's a way into that door, I might have to look up and see if there is, that was a complete, complete failure, this guy is substantially tougher than the earlier ones by the way, he does more damage in melee, first and foremost, and he also takes a lot more uh, to kill. So he was quite a bit tougher than the uh, earlier versions that we've run into previously. Uh, I'm fairly certain that I didn't miss anything, so I, I think there's just no way into that door in the demo. There was definitely something on the other side of it, because we could see one of these doors on the other side that had a, you know, a green opener thing. So we could definitely do something with it? Anyway, Saturn. That's why I know it's Saturn, because, you know, uh, friends and all. Oh yeah, it's this interesting, uh... Lightning effects. Somehow I don't think the sun is going to be that bright out at Saturn. I'm just saying. Pretty sure you're not going to have anywhere near that brightness. The sun is going to look like a slightly brighter star. A slightly bigger star, I guess. But it's still basically going to look like a star. This is really fuck loud. Slightly better. Uh, but we can see part of the station uh, that we're drifting on. Uh, the planet is, of course, oh, hi. Fuck you. Uh, the planet is, of course, moving out of our field of vision. And I wonder if there's anything that we can see if we sit here long enough, because the station is rotating, obviously. And I wonder... Oh, actually, I didn't look up before. I didn't realize you could look up. I didn't realize that there was... Obviously, you could look up, but I didn't realize there was windows up here. Uh, okay, so it looks like, interesting, it looks like there is, like, a, it's like a mushroom-shaped, uh, 
station, you know, we're down to like the stem down below here, and then it goes up and it mushrooms out, and then it also has these arms that are coming out of the top from the looks of it. Uh, I also like how there's like a universal lighting here, so as the, as the station is turning, you know, like this is now dark because it, the sun and all the light sources are now behind us, as is like the, the parts of the station here that are really dark, we can't see them anymore. Uh, I like that. That's cool. Now we can see, like, the dome up, or the, uh, the mushroom top up there a little bit better. And you can see, you know, the, the arms going into darkness as we continue to rotate very slowly. That, that is a neat effect. That is a cool, uh... And it's a cool world-building effect that we haven't seen in very many games. Because they would just have, you know, the station might be turning, you know, you might, might, might be able to, you know, turn it in its world space, but you normally wouldn't expect to be able to have this, you know, lighting, dynamic lighting even, that is changing as it rotates. And, you know, we're coming around now into the sunlight, so it's starting to hit up there a little bit. One over here is going, in, you know, into darkness as it continues to rotate, and you know, slowly but surely, we're coming back around now. We're getting the lights from the rain a little bit. There is even a shadow on the rain from the planet. It looks like, which is cool. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. This place is dark as fuck. Uh, I've I've delayed here, by the way, because once you go through this door right there, it's the end. That's the end of the demo. Uh, it ends once you go through here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Thank you for playing. Click to support us on Kickstarter. Again, I will provide the link in the description of this video if you folks want to check out the Kickstarter. There will be a couple days left from when this video goes up. Of course, if you're watching this, you know, sometime in the future, Kickstarter will be long past, but you'll still be able to look at the Kickstarter and see, you know, what they wanted to do. I don't know if they have any intentions or plans on doing, uh, uh, the uh, stretch goals. Um, one would probably presume they do. I have no idea what the stretch goals would be. They don't have any listed that I saw, uh, to begin with. But, of course, they hadn't fully funded yet at the time that I was last looking at it, so who knows at this point. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching, folks. Like and subscribe, of course, if you enjoy my stuff. I am actually... I, when I first heard about this, I was interested. But having played the demo here, uh, I am actually even more interested than I was before. Because they have... They're doing some interesting things with the Unity, with the engine, which I like, and it maintains a good feel, um, that from what I know and from what I've seen of the original game, the original System Shock, uh, is very true to it. They're even going so far as to, you know, obviously it has way better graphics than the first one did, because the first one was like a 1989 game or some shit, I don't even remember when it came out, but really fucking old. And, um, despite that, they are maintaining, you know, higher graphics levels, but they're making it look still very much like the original game. You know, the enemies have very similar appearance. Uh, this is, of course, a very early version of it, so they might look better, probably will, when the actual game comes out, but at least for the moment, uh, you know, I'm interested. So... If you folks are, you know, check it out on Kickstarter. I don't think I'm going to support it, just because I am not, uh, yeah, just my own choice. I'm not really a big fan of the whole kick. I like the idea of Kickstarter, and I like how it, how it, uh, you know, has grown the indie platform, but I'm not a huge fan of how the system works. I'll just put it that. I'm not going to really go into it, but I'll just leave it there. Uh, 
But yeah, I will definitely be getting the game when it comes out. I'll probably play it on here when it comes out. But that's going to be a long time from now. So, <laughs> uh, I think they're pre presently scheduling uh, like a late 2017 release, I think is what their, their projected goal was. Who the fuck knows if they'll hit that or not. But that's at least their plan, according to the Kickstarter. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean a damn thing, but that's what they're aiming for. I expect, uh, once this goes up, like, early access on Steam, um, I imagine it'll be early access on Steam. And once that happens, I may get it then, but I probably still won't record it until it actually comes out. Because I want to be able to play through the whole game, you know, at its finished level uh, for the channel. I might do, like, another video at some point on it when it hits the early access stage. I'm assuming it goes into early access anyway. Uh, I might do another video at it, on it at that point just to be, like, a state of the game. You know, how it's progressing type thing. But for now, uh, that will be it. But this... Uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I am pretty pretty excited about it. It seems pretty cool. Uh, so check it out. Take it easy, folks, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.